session. His Majesty King Frederick presiding. Attila didn't do it. I know he didn't. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Not only does Attila have motive and no alibi, the evidence is overwhelming. There were two puncture marks in one of Monty's syrup vats that matched the horns on Attila's helmet exactly. When we went to question Attila, I found one of Uncle Monty's stolen secret family recipes stuck to the bottom of his boot. Not to mention, moments before the vandalism was reported, two of my men happened to see Attila in the area. When they called to him, he ran off. Why would an innocent man run? I'm sorry. But after reviewing the evidence and his previous record, I have no choice but to exile Attila to the prison barge of the Lost Sea. This is crazy! He's innocent! Ugh! There has to be a way we can prove it. I don't think we're gonna have time. 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 <gasps> Onus Procedendi! What? Uh, Your Majesty, I would like to cite Onus Procedendi. Wait, what is that? Shh, it's Latin. Smart people talk. Don't worry, she'll go slow. I've been reading all about Corona Law. You've been what? And by onus procedendi, Attila can be granted a 24-hour period to prove his innocence, provided that he has retained the sponsorship of a statesperson. And I'm pretty sure that being princess qualifies me as a statesperson. Well, she is correct, Your Majesty. Oh, uh, very well. Then you have 24 hours to prove his innocence, princess. You know, you should open a book sometime. It's really, really fun. Shapes make letters, letters make words, words communicate thought. Circle of Life.